Hello everybody, my name is Ani Munira from AtlasTRMalaysia.com. In this short video, I would like to introduce to you the three core steps that I normally teach my students on how to do literature review exercise by using the uh, software AtlasTI. Okay, now this is the one uh, introduction uh, because uh, this video will be very short because I will be explaining a little bit more in the upcoming videos for each and every one of these steps. Now let me share my screen. Okay, alright, so lesson number two because uh, the previous lesson number one I only give you the introduction and this lesson number two I wish to briefly explain the three core steps in using literature review using ATLAS-CI. Now let us begin. Step number one out of three is for us to prepare the literatures. Now preparing the literatures will include the collection of the literatures either by going to online databases or offline databases and then there is a special method of renaming or naming these literatures for example in the format of author comma year Okay, and after that, we will uh, sort of manage our literatures by adding these literatures as primary documents into ATLAS-CI. And once they are within ATLAS-CI, we will start to group these uh, literatures according to families. Now, depending on the shared characteristics of those uh, literatures, for example, by journal name, by uh, methodology undertaken, by author, for example. Now, step number two out of three is for us to go through the literatures. Now that we already have all those literatures and group according to families within the Hermeneutic Unit of Atlas CI, definitely we are going to go through the literatures. That is, by reading and understanding the literatures and um, segmenting or making... Uh, uh, identification of certain sentences or paragraphs each of those important points in those literatures and linking them to specific codes or memos now I have already used those names the two powerful features in Atlas CI for coding and also memoing right Coding is by going through the literatures depending on the concepts of the variables that we have identified to be relevant and forming part of our framework. There will be deductive coding, inductive coding, as well as auto coding. I'll be explaining a little bit more about that in the following uh, videos. Uh, the second um, feature of that we're we going to do for this step number two is memos there will be free memos as well as linked memos now moving on to step number three out of three is for us to prepare the reviews right uh, definitely at the i cannot do the literature review for us instead they can only create outputs for us so that we can use as a guidance in preparing the literature review right the outputs will be in multiple formats number one is visual format in atlas i will call it as the network views function okay we'll be creating weak links as well as strong links within the network view so that we can visualize how we have understood our literature's um, reading or literature's review all this well. Now, format number two for the output of Atlas CI is textual output. We can use two functions at this stage. Uh, we create outputs from within the uh, code manager itself, or we can create outputs from the query tool so that uh, the query tool will allow us to explore further. For example, we can put specific scopes for certain families. Okay, and number three is numerical output where we can create a uh, count for the quotations uh, uh, based on the code name against the primary document's name. Now, let us recap what are the three core steps in conducting literature reviews using ATLAS-CI. Number one is to prepare the literatures, number two is to go through the literatures, and number three is to prepare the reviews. Right, as simple as it may seem, these I try to make it as simple as possible. We're going to use 
many functions within ECLSI itself and we're going to make full use of it so that we can come up with a proper literature review by using these functions in FDCI. Right, I um, invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more training videos so that you will not be left out when I come with uh, new uh, videos in future. Okay. All right, so I am very happy to be uh, able to share with you, to, give, to introduce to you what are the three uh, core steps in uh, doing literature reviews using at least I. In the following uh, lesson, uh, lesson three, four, and five, I'm going to touch on each of these three steps one by one. Okay, all right, thank you very much.